Hey, what's going on, y'all? Now, in today's video, I want to talk about energy. I want to talk about motivation. And now, a lot of times, we say that we're up to doing something. We say that we want to achieve something. But we don't often take actions to realize that goal. And so, in this one, I would encourage you to put your energy where your mouth is. If you're going to talk about accomplishing things, achieving things, but don't just talk about it. Put some energy forward into achieving it. That's the only way you'll see it realized. If you care to become whatever you're trying to be, you have to put energy towards accomplishing that, achieving that. If you don't do that, again, it'll never happen. So, what are some examples of this? Well, I'll pull one from my own life. Help illustrate things. Whenever, um... I was younger, maybe, you know, like three, four years ago. I really wanted to become an excellent guitarist. You know, I really wanted to... I, I had, like, some basic skills. I played ukulele for a while. I had some theory from learning cello. And I really wanted to become a good guitarist. And I never quite put in the energy to see that realized. I never quite put my energy where my mouth was, to be honest. I never really... You know, like, I practiced, but I didn't practice nearly as often as I should. And whenever I did practice, it was the same old stuff. I never really sought to learn new things. Never sought to, never sought to branch out. And it's only now that I'm in school that I'm uh, learning this, you know, professionally. Uh, now I'm studying it, you know, studying music, playing piano, doing all this stuff, that I really care. You know what I'm saying? I had to start putting my energy where my mouth was. Say, okay, I want to take this seriously. I actually want to do this for you, a living, perhaps. And... So now I'm actually like, I'm diligently practicing every day. Every day I'm putting in at least an hour. You know what I'm saying? Like just trying to get better, trying to learn more about it. Putting myself through the tedium of it, if you will, so that I can be on the other end of this, you know, in two, three, four years, becoming really good. You know what I'm saying? Like actually showing some skill. And again, it's, I had to put, I had to, like for a long time, I professed what I wanted to be. I, I imagined what I wanted to be, but I never quite put in the energy to see it realized. And so I suffered from that. You know, if I really had done that by now, now that I'm in school, I would have the abilities that I really wish I did. You know and I'm saying I'd be able to play, you know, crazy licks and all that stuff. I'd be able to like to, to actually jam and whatnot, but I never quite put my energy forward. And so I had to learn that lesson. I'm learning it the hard way now that you need to put your energy where your mouth is. Another example of this is a lot of people want to get big, a lot of people, are, or they want to lose weight, whatever that might be for you. A lot of people want to get healthy, and they talk about getting healthy, you know what I'm saying? They talk about looking better, becoming the best version of themselves physically, and they never quite realize that. They never, they, they never see that happen for themselves, because they never put in the true amount of energy that needs to be put in to see that happen. Like, uh, you know, for example, with my thing about guitar, like, I played guitar, I still played, but I didn't put in enough energy to see my dreams become realized in this same vein a lot of these people they go to the gym they'll do a little half-ass workout you know what i mean they barely break a sweat and then call it a day and then maybe do that twice a week and then they they look back over the last six months and they're like wow i look exactly the same the gym doesn't work the gym doesn't work you know what i'm saying these people and, and then they blame it on the gym they blame it on that as, as opposed to themselves when they were the ones who didn't put their energy where their mouth was. They were the ones who didn't align their thoughts with reality. The reality being, you had to put in an extreme amount of work. You had to be diligent and persevere and go through the tedium, go through the pain to get the gains, to lose the weight, whatever that looks like, you know? Lastly, you know, I want to touch on retention because I think that retention also plays a factor in this. A lot of people like to say that retention is placebo. And really, I'm telling you this, it's because they're not putting the energy where their mouth is. A lot of people, so there's like two categories of people, I think. You have your first category that do it for a week, maybe two weeks, and they really don't see any difference. They don't see, they don't, they're not, for one, for one, these individuals may not be the most self-aware. You know what I'm saying? Because it does take a diligent amount of self-awareness to notice the minute changes. Although, for my opinion, even by week one, it was drastic. It was a drastic difference. It was my first week, I... My behaviors, my energy levels, bro, I, I, it was like I was on cocaine, bro. Hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? Not that I, I ain't never done nothing like that, but it's like, it's like it was it was that level of uh, of energy. You know what I mean? It was that level of like, 
<laughs> gotta get it done. Gotta like I, I was just overflowing with with energy, and I think it's because I never had it before. I had never once in my life, you know, taken that time, especially when I was a little kid, to just not nut. You know what I'm saying? To just not release my vital essence, my seed. So, again, so for me it was drastic, but for other people, you know, everyone's different. Your body, your biology might take longer before you start to see those real results. Although, by the first week, your testosterone should be pumping. But again, it might take you a little longer before you start to see serious results. And unfortunately, people like that, they go through that little bit of process, they go a little bit of time saying, ah, oh, this is all bullshit, I ain't seen nothing. And so they just go back to their Coomer lifestyle, they go right back to the Coomer lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? And then they try to deep, they try to push other people out of going on retention because it didn't work for them. Or because they didn't put in enough energy to see it realized. Again, they didn't put their energy where their mouth was. They wanted to see themselves become better. They wanted to see themselves get stronger, get more confident, gain more energy. All the beautiful things that come with retention. Eyes start to glow. Your whole face start to glow. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they wanted to see that happen, but they never put in the energy to have it happen. And then you have the other category of people. Those who get on retention, they go the distance, they go the time, but they also don't see very many results. And, you know, again, and, and they're not seeing results, but often it's because of their lifestyle. This goes for the last group too. You know what I'm saying? I, I always talk about soy, or maybe not, I haven't talked about it as often recently, but, you know, months back I was talking about soy a lot and how soy is a xenoestrogen. And soy is in just about everything you eat, but especially fast food, especially all your processed goods, all the cereals you get if it's not organic. You have to go to the organic section, the whole foods type of section, before you actually see, okay, well, sunflower seed oil as opposed to soybean oil. You know what I'm saying? Like, or soybean, I think it's, I forget the, how to say it, like, let, lettuce, let, 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 let <laughs> I forget, man, let, lettuce shin or something like that, something like that. Lettuce shin, something like that, man. I always thought it was like lechin or something. I just recently saw the uh, proper spelling. Um, but, you know, it's like they put soy in everything in one form or another. It could just be soybean, soybean oil, soybean, let, 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 then whatever, nigga. You know what I'm saying? They put soy into everything, bro. And so soy, when you eat all that, is fighting your testosterone production. It's fighting your ability to actually gain the testosterone that is going to give you the benefits that you receive from retention. Besides just the benefits that come with having more seed. And here's the thing, you're not going to be at max seed because your seed and your testosterone production are linked. Your testosterone is produced in your balls. You know what I'm saying? And if you're hampering your testosterone production, you're also hampering your seed production. So yeah, you might not be seeing these same results. And for these people, it may not be a lack of energy, it could be a lack of knowledge. But you know, they'll come spouting their stuff in the comments and it's like, okay, but especially if you knew this information that soy fights your testosterone, you're not putting your energy where your mouth is, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Because if you were, you would actually start to completely alter your lifestyle instead of half-ass alter your lifestyle by not jerking off and saying, okay, well, I did have to work. Why, is it, why are not the full benefits coming to me? Because you didn't have to work, buddy. You know what I'm saying? If you actually decided to put in the full energy, fix your diet, fix your lifestyle, fix your mindset, you know what I'm saying? You might actually start to see the full results. Again, you, you get, I, say, I mentioned this a lot in other videos, but you get in what you, what you put in. You know what I'm saying? You get out what you put in. Excuse me. You get out of whatever you're doing, what you put into it. So if you want to see real results from things, you have to put in the maximum amount of energy to get the maximum results. If you put in half-ass energy, you're going to get half-ass results. And it's it's good to be conscious of that as you engage with the things, the, your aspirations, the things that you, your ambitions, what you would like to accomplish. All those different goals. You have to put your energy where your mouth is. If you ever want to see those things accomplished, if you ever want to see yourself go the distance, and actually realize those dreams. Or else those dreams will just stay dreams. Or they'll end up being half realized. And you'll be disappointed. And might even start to blame you know, the, the, the dream itself. As opposed to yourself for not putting in the full amount of effort to see that dream realized. So just keep this in mind y'all as you're going through life. As you're setting into new endeavors. You know you have to put in the full energy. And if you proclaim that you want to see something happen for yourself. You have to put in the full energy. Put your energy where your mouth is, and life will open up before you. You'll start to accomplish everything that you ever dreamed. You know, it's amazing how many things that, like, like, lastly, you know, I wanted to be a YouTuber for so long. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you made it to the end of the video, like, let me, let me hit you with this. Like, I wanted to be a YouTuber for so long. I wanted to, um, you know, film myself, but I just, I never, I never believed that I could. But I, but I was always like, yeah, I kind of got it. I kind of got it. And it wasn't until I got on retention that I had the kind of confidence and the, the, 
the uh, I don't know the the ver- vernacular to be honest to be, just be able to spout my thoughts. But for a long time I wanted it, but I never put my energy where my mouth was. I never even just experimented with making videos. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't until I actually put the energy forward that my dream became realized. So you got to put your energy where your mouth is. It's the only way to accomplish the things that you would like to see happen for yourself. All right. Hope you all have a blessed day. You know what I mean? Just going through life, getting things done, accomplishing things. Put in the full energy, y'all. Put in the full energy. You'll start to see your, yourself and your ambitions unfold. All right. Take care, y'all. Peace.